We created the following training video to help explain the functionality of our brand new innovative M2 Fuse ID smart finger scanner including tips on proper scanning techniques and steps to take care of the device. M2 Fuse ID simultaneously and safely captures both the fingerprint image and the finger vein pattern inside your finger. Each M2 Fuse ID device is equipped with a built-in color LED indicator for visual feedback, an embedded finger vein sensor that automatically maps out the pattern of your finger vein, an embedded fingerprint sensor that captures a 500 dpi fingerprint image, and each device has a built-in anti-theft lock connection which can be used to secure the device during use. Each Fuse ID device is equipped with a color-coded LED display. If the LED display is solid green, the device is active. A flashing green light indicates that the device is ready to accept a scan. A flashing orange light signifies a scan in progress, and a flashing red light indicates an unsuccessful scan and the scanning process must be repeated. When the device is connected and the client software activated, the LED light will start flashing green. Flashing orange indicates a scan in progress. Hold the finger in place until the LED light turns solid green. If the LED light starts flashing red, the scan was unsuccessful. The Fuse ID device is also equipped with audio feedback to guide proper use for an end user. One beep signifies a successful scan, and five beeps indicates a poor quality scan that the device is not able to read. Let's take a closer look at proper and improper finger placement on the device to ensure a quality enrollment template and subsequent accurate identification. Each device has a built-in finger groove to guide placement of the finger during the scanning procedure. We recommend using the middle or ring finger for enrollment and identification purposes because it typically produces and retains a much higher quality image. The middle or ring finger should be placed flat and parallel to the scanning surface and the tip of the finger should rest but not extend past the fingerprint sensor to achieve a successful scan. Let's take a look at some improper finger placements that will cause problems both in rolling and identifying individuals on the Fuse ID device. First, please do not curve or arch fingers before placing on the device. This will result in a scan failure. Instead, place the middle or ring finger flat against the scanner surface. Next, Please don't approach the scanner at an angle or attempt to rotate the fingers when on the device. This will also result in a scan failure. Here's another look at improper angling or rotation of the fingers on the device that will result in an unsuccessful scan. Again, be sure to keep the finger and hand flat and parallel to the scanning surface. As we mentioned earlier, please do not extend the tip of the finger beyond the fingerprint sensor on the Fuse ID device. This will result in an unsuccessful scan. Please do not use shorter fingers such as the pinky finger or thumb for enrollment and identification. Most often, these fingers won't be long enough to reach the fingerprint sensor. To summarize, please use the middle finger when possible for enrollment and identification. Please keep fingers flat and parallel to the scanning surface, avoid arching or angling the fingers when placed on the device, and please avoid extending the fingertip beyond the surface of the fingerprint sensor. The last section of our training video covers how to perform routine maintenance on the device to ensure consistent image quality. First, we recommend cleaning the outside of the scanner at least once per month or when required. Use a soft cloth to rub the outside of the scanner and when needed, gently soap the surface with a neutral detergent and clean using a tightly wrung out piece of damp cloth. We also recommend periodically cleaning the scanning surface of the device at least once per month or whenever dirt from fingers is detected. Use a piece of soft cloth to wipe the scanning areas and when needed, lift up the front of the device to wipe the finger vein sensor, removing any large pieces of dirt or debris before wiping. Please contact us directly if you have any questions about the M2 Fuse ID Smart Finger Scanner.